Hello everyone, I'm Hansen. In a previous video, we come to understand different belief system has different perspectives on death. And today, we're going to dive deeper, exploring the beautiful insights of death according to the Buddhist perspective. The Buddha wisely advised, understanding our own mind helps us to reduce fear, worry, and unhappiness associated with death. So what are the interconnectedness of birth and death? Now, people's worry in relation to death derive from craving and attachment to possessions, relationships, and life itself. Now, many are not ready to depart from their properties, monetary, children, wife, and husbands, which is why people don't like death. Otherwise, there is no reason for us to create unhappiness or unpleasant feeling over death. Death is important. It is a natural cycle very similar to renewing a passport. It is the transition from one physical body to another, forming a continuous cycle. When sun sets at one end, becoming the rising sun in another, sun reappears somewhere else. It applies to life and death as well. When death occurs at one place, life reappears somewhere else. By understanding this nature of death and birth, we can reduce fear, tension, and worry. But firstly, let's understand how death occur. From a Buddhist perspective, three things must separate from the body for death to take place. Number one, heat must separate from the body. An example is when the body turns into ashes. Number two, energy must dissolve from the body. The body sustains only elements. It functions to accommodate life. Life exists because of this body. Third, consciousness, which is the mind, is moving to another world system. According to the commentaries of Buddhist scholars, reflecting on the maximum lifespan 2,600 years ago, there are more people who could live up to 120 years old. And today, the average lifespan is about 75 years old. Sadly, however, due to moral decline, corruption, and mental pollution have led to this reduction of lifespan, where in future, many years to come, maximum lifespan will reduce to only 10 years of age, which means 10-year-old is as old as a grandparent. Sounds eerie and difficult to believe, right? Mental factors like selfishness, cruelty, and anger dominate, causing a decline in virtues and qualities. As worldly knowledge increases, human race is getting smarter and smarter. However, cunningness prevails, while spiritual and ethical values decline. Worldwide conflicts arise not due to material shortages, but because of a corrupt mind, lacking of patience, tolerance, kindness, and sympathy, and harmony. The deterioration of these values is identified as the main cause of, of our society's downfall. Now, as we contemplate these timeless insights, let's strive to cultivate vir virtues, understanding, and compassion in our lives. Like I've said, different people have different opinions and perspectives on life and death. Share your comments below. Let's spark a conversation that embrace the wisdom of death while fostering a collective pursuit of more harmonious existence. The path to a better world begins with understanding our minds, embracing the cycles of life and death. In the next video, let's dive deeper into the aspects of karma. The good begets good, the evil begets evil. Is it really that simple? If you're curious, hit the subscribe and like video. Your support will inspire the next topic. See you soon. Goodbye.